Um, in this session, I will um, go through some of the new features we are having the capture app. Um, and um, as you know, the capture app has been on continuous delivery since 238. It was one of the first apps um, to, to be released in this way. Um, and many of the features I'll show you today will be available all the way uh, from 238 and up. So, so um, um, I will try to make sure whenever I'm showing a feature uh, to tell you if this is not the case, if it uh, requires version 2 for 239 or if it requires version 40, I will, I will make a point of that as I go. Um, you can update the capture app in the app management app um, to get the latest version. Um, I will go through um, many features that we call capture app parity, uh, which really means that we have this functionality in the old tracker capture app, and we have now implemented and in most cases redesigned and reimagined the functionality in the capture app. Um, we have one new feature, um, one completely new feature that I will go through on the very end. Um, on the back end API side, we have man made many, many technical enhancements and have also a few new, um, new features that I'm going to mention. Uh, but um, before I get into any of that, I will show you two new uh, tracker analytics feature features. The first one is um, a new operator for programmer indicators, an in operator. Um, and um, we are all right, used to writing program indicators like this. We would um, maybe have a data element that might have several options. In this case, I'm, I'm using the, um, the data element for an ongoing or initiated ARV regimen. And I want to count everyone that has either an ongoing or uh, recently initiated ARV regimen. Um, <clears throat> with only two options, it, this doesn't take too much space, but in some cases you might have 10 or maybe 100 options that you want to filter, and uh, your expression might become very long. We now have a new operator that will allow us to write it in a slightly different way, and if I go to the, the next slide, you can see this, <laughs> the small change in the, uh, in the expression there. Um, we now uh, can simply list the option uh, data element, and then individually list the options behind it so that we uh, we will get a much shorter and more readable expression. Um, in addition to being easier to use, uh, this is also faster on the database layer. layer. And as we know, program indicators are um, is, uh, an area where we do need to optimize and be as efficient as possible. So this is good to know that uh, you should try to use this, this way of um, addressing uh, multiple options for one data element. The, underlying query and performance will be uh, faster. The next feature I'll show you is the uh, ownership analytics feature. And this is a little bit of a, um, um, uh, th th this is a collaborative effort between many teams. Um, it ended up on my plate uh, to demo, but in reality, this is um, uh, an analytics backend feature as well as front end. It's a maintenance app platform front end feature, and um, I'm representing it here today um, on behalf of all these other teams. Um, on the user interface, it uh, doesn't look too impressive or conspicuous. Uh, we have one new drop down field in, in the um, program indicator screen uh, called organization unit field. And um, uh, this um, field is there to allow um, analytics that um, specifically targets um, the owner of tracker data. As we know, um, a tracker, uh, a, a HIV patient, for example, might be enrolled in one clinic, uh, but throughout their treatment, they might move many times and their record might be moved many times between other clinics. So um, this is uh, better illustrated on this slide, and, and we can see that <clears throat> we have um, the, the purple line there um, describing the point of which uh, our uh, patient moved from organit A to organit B. Uh, this is an enrollment that started in organit A. It was then moved to organit B later. Uh, to make efficient analytics on this, um, we uh, before we did not have um, the ability to 
to um, analyze the data based on where the patient was currently owned. We only had the ability to analyze um, the data based on where the org unit, uh, where the user actually started out. Um, but with the, the ownership analytics feature um, and the new selection in the program indicators user, user interface, you will be able to um, count uh, based on both uh, methods. You can either count uh, based on where people started out, where they were first enrolled, or you can do the count based on where um, patients or records currently are located. Uh, the use cases that um, that um, requires this might include HIV and, uh, and tuberculosis, uh, but uh, the list doesn't end there. Um, I encourage you to look into the implementation guide uh, as um, this, um, uh, both the functionality and, um, and, um, and the explanation for, uh, for the different use cases is much better covered there or is about to be much better covered there in the tracker design section. Um, okay.